<laughs> but that's because I'm always like, I'm pretty online. Ooh, Lily, I don't want to. Mm hmm. Well, I do. Not my side of the internet, I guess. I don't know. Just go over and. Blankety blank blank with you. Blank blank to something. Your theme is like galaxies. There's. See, when I think galaxies, I think like. Like lunar queen dust galaxies. Other than that, like most of the bi like big streamers I watch don't really even use like themes like that. But I don't watch a lot of big streamers to be fair. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. As much as you love the feeling sorry for yourself, it's time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. of rented movies due date passed ages ago but what can you do mother will pick up no matter how many times you call you tried to order food a bazillion times but for whatever reason the orders never arrive the controls are uh, very stiff I guess I wasn't expecting any different but What's that shit on the floor? Some dirt? Only so many times you can brew the same grounds. Ew. Freezer completely empty. Utterly exhausted as a food source. A can of tomatoes. We found tomatoes. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Why not? That's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know that it was in... Because I hid it there away from you. I live in a den of snakes. Ah, uh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that? Mm. She really wants to eat the tomatoes? Okay. I'll be there in a bit. What's over this way then? The balcony door and the bathroom. A washing machine. 
What would drinking detergent even do to you besides make you sick? I wonder. They still have water. That's not that bad. Good day. Are you still alive in there? Is this the new Pokemon? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. Blazing can you cheer? X Pride. Is this the new Pokemon? For sure. Hello. If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either. I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. And I and don't blame me for the delivery guys screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. No, wait. Wait, wait. Come back. Mm, welcome back. By the way. <laughs> you boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You've used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while you're drinking to fill your stomach. <laughs> what is it, actually? This game is called Andy... Well, the coffin of Andy and Lily. I'm assuming it's pronounced Lily because it's short for Ashley. But it's an indie horror game slash visual novel. And um, the I guess chapter two just came out more recently is the difference right now. Why people are talking about it online a little more. Um, but they just ate canned tomatoes because they don't have any food. That's all we know so far, technically. At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and say, it's the best thing I'd ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. Ominous audio assaults your eardrums. The neighbors are doing some shit. Oh, and these are brother and sister. It's important to keep that in mind. We got a balcony key. So our brother locked us in. Huh. Can't really see squat from here. That's our house. It's only the fourth floor. <laughs> There's no creepy weird shit is there. <laughs> uh, I don't know what exactly it is, but there might be. Because I've I've heard there there kind of is. And. That's kind of why I like I, I wanted to play it because it's being very divisive on the couple or on the people that I've seen talk about it. There's people that are uh, kind of upset with that aspect of the game. Um, we'll see. He's no fun. So he won't let us jump across from balcony to balcony. Uh, Why don't I just use the table? Not the ashtray. Mm. So I gotta go inside and get something, I guess. Oh, I never checked in here. Your parents have fucked on this bed. That's great. That's great. Wait, huh? 
I don't know what I'd use to cross. The freezer. The freezer door. Eh. How have I been? I've been hanging in there, honestly. The first puzzle, and I'm stuck. I love that for me. Hanging in there. This a lot going on in the world right now. I'm just gonna click on everything in the apartment, I guess. Closet door. Like, we've, we've gone past many possibilities that it just doesn't want to give me. Junk and unpaid bills. Remember when they still gave us food and stuff? Good times. I bet they don't do that anymore because they're scared to open the door now. They could still squeeze something in through the mail slot. Like what? Pasta? Like anything. Are they just gonna let us die in here? Maybe. Don't make you start popping up in DMs. Uh, I'll be okay. It's just a... Uh, Man, the the world uh, is kind of going through it right now. <laughs> like the, the Israel thing, the Gaza Strip, uh, and then like a couple like things in my personal life. Works just hard. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. What? Oh my god. She says they should come in and shoot us in or something and get it over with. That wouldn't look very natural, I guess. Did I go in the parents' room? Yes, I did. There was it. Oh wait, there's a broken shelf. There we go. Yeah, I'm sensitive though. So I try not to look at it too much, but it's hard. Hey, let's go. Oh, demons from hell, hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. Alright, thank you, please. I'm, I'm good. Other than that. <laughs> we'll be okay. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Uh, what do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Mm. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? What? Maybe I should, like, remove the plank? Eh. TV. Ah, oh, the remote is dead. Just put the push buttons on the TV. Let's find some batteries. Mm. Why do I have to find the batteries? We don't need the alarm clock anyway. It's not like he has a job. I can see you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope. I've decided I'd hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being so difficult about this? I'm not. I'm taking on the Herculean... Herculean. How do you pronounce that word? I know the word. 
Herculean. Task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we share with some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. <laughs> that does not help, please. That does not help at all. <laughs> no biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. Are they British? That cheers. You decide to do the same. Oh. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom, not booze, not dirty, contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. All right, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker. There we go. Now you? How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens. If not, oh my God. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. This is where you get the thunder patch. <laughs> Please, don't call anymore. I won't answer. I think this is where she uh, finally stops contacting her mom. Because her mom is shit. But that's just my guess. After reminiscing all night, you wake up, as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. I know where to put the laundry. Yawn. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? We do. I can't pick that one up. Whatever. Bear. Fair. I will not get that clean with my bare hands. Any more laundry around? Nah, I think that's it. I was trying to get that mop. Yep. The mop. What else is there to take care of? The books on the floor. I'm feeling dizzy. Well, yeah. If I'm actually starving.
good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. <laughs> okay. It has. Does it look like I'm eating now? Uh, on that note, we'd like to remind you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... Yeah. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello. Of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's, I mean, I, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but no, or I mean, yes, but that doesn't. No, I'm not angry. I'm just, no, I, can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Parents, maybe? Always about you don't lay and let Ashley and had time to think, just can't anymore. So that's it then? Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? Although I don't really see why I should be held accountable for it. Call drop. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? Get shit on! Your ass! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What me, what me, you pussy! Me. No, that's... <laughs> Uh, how should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined. Or because she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. Damn. Why'd, why'd she have to rub it in like that? <laughs> I know, like, there was no need. Christ. There might have been something more tactful to say. Yeah, there were like a million things more tactful to say. <laughs> Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you're ready to fall asleep again. You've been out for how, who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Okay, but at least they're skin tea. Kidding. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. <laughs> People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving as if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got prick? Nope. Good question, though. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. 
forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought. And I don't think he called either. Because, like, at this point, why would he? Why would he call? There's, like, there is no point. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him that it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, you finally, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. <laughs> yep, that's how I feel. <laughs> Yesterday, I've been napping so much. I've been napping so much. You silly lazy bones. <laughs> oh my god. Where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? <laughs> From a nap. <laughs> he has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now, you better bang, stop bang, bang, banging on the door, or your next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. God damn. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Let me make my, uh, Here. There we go. Better. Unlikely. Though, I guess we'll see. And see, you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. <laughs> Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. Uh, so, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You'd think something would ha be happening to us by now, but I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Ugh, who cares? Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't care or not care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off that balcony. Oh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been combined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Okay. Okay. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you, if those are your plans for romance. Not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... Ritual music. It's that time. That was a roar. Let's go. <laughs> he did it. He did it. My lord, you've come. And you're uh, a little smaller than I imagined. 
I love it. <laughs> it's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Oh, um, I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Mm. He fucked around. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. I don't know where to put myself where I'm not in the way. Because I feel like... Oh, wait. I could go up here. There hasn't been much in that corner. That's probably better. This way, you get to see their little hands, since that's like half their expression. So this is still chapter one. By the way, uh, they just watched, welcome back to me. We just watched uh, the neighbor get killed by a demon. That's where we're at now. <laughs> So, uh, am I already delirious, or did you see that too? Yeah. Do we, uh, do you want to check in on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Stay safe, okay. I'll, I'll try. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this, to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. <laughs> you make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this other guy has that we can eat. Oh, burglary time. Shut up and let's get in there. What do you mean, stay safe, Shroomy? You're scaring me. <laughs> can I die in this game? I don't think I can die. Boxes are full of useless junk. Good to know. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Oh, I know what I have to do. Door unlocked. <laughs> Let me go right. Yep. Oh, that's that's a lot better. <laughs> Immediately. <sighs> Cooking equipment, a cleaver. It's just as locked as your door. So his apartment is smaller too though. A candle. The bathroom smells of feces. Ew. And you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Does he not even have a bed? The fridge and freezer are empty. Uh, that's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? <laughs> Out loud, apparently. <laughs> Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him? Uh, isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Ah, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. <sighs> I think just messing around with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think that they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. <laughs> Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though? And before that, you're really gonna tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. 
Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Um, yeah. Alright then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. <laughs> I already found the cleaver. So, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop the cultist. Oh, my first, like, choice. Um, does it matter? No. Next step is left arm. We, we can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No, can't you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of this for the meanwhile, I, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Add. Add. It'll be over soon. Waiting for the ad to end. Oh, you're back. Awesome. Mine's behind, I guess. My uh, ad break in progress thing. Um, I missed what she called him. But maybe it was Andy. I don't know. I fucked it. I hand him the cleaver. Andrew must chop, chop, chop the rest. Okay. I'll get it all, all done. Go find plastic bags. Okay. Uh, I've frozen. Oh no. Really? Nah. Maybe I was frozen, but I just opened the video player. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Um, plastic bags. They're full already. Shit. Well, where do we keep the garbage bags? I don't know. Oh. Obviously, they'd be in the laundry room. Jeez. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. I don't think we can cut through the spiny there. Just fold him over? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Watch and learn! Oh god. Yeah, see, if anyone <laughs> happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, this isn't going to. Ta da! <laughs> <sighs> Good God. No, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. And then I'll go cook us up something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. And Andrew said I'll deal with the torso. Okay. I 
I placed the severed limbs in the freezer. Now which one do I want to eat? I feel like we should start with an arm. The legs are going to be tougher. Just thinking, you know, guessing. Maybe the left arm. You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Yum, yum. Right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch, munch. Huh? What? Oh, you already... Okay. <laughs> You're on your way. <laughs> Eat up. Nom nom nom. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, right. Gross. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. Swallow. All of it. Well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. <laughs> I made this with love. <laughs> so you're not leaving this table before you lick the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. And then quit your gagging, big baby. I'll eat it. Just give me a minute. I'm not sure I like this dinner. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I don't think you're meant to like eating human, probably. Just a guess. Good boy, I'm so proud. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe coriander. <laughs> Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night, night. They don't even have salt left. They're, they should have... Rummaged the other guy's pantries better. I think. I think they were missing something. Because for that guy not to have anything left... Just, nah. Unlikely. The freezer is full of delicious meat. Yum, yum. Gross. Um, alright. Well, I still feel like I should remove the walkway out here. Like, we literally just dismembered him. I, I think I should probably take that down. But... It's not an option, I guess. <sighs> I fall asleep fully content with my life decisions. Hell yeah. Blank said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you gonna be her boyfriend? Gross, no. Ha ha ha. I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person for that matter. <laughs> mm. Screw you. I'm the most personist lady in the world. I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. You should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lily, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. I'll take her to the warehouse, or you take her to the warehouse, and we'll see what happens. Mm. 
Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She needs a reminder of how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Sorry. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray, you're the best. Andy and Lily and the, and the bitch in a box. Oh my god. One day, you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. Hmm? What is taking him so long? Finally. What are you doing here? I mean, I guess that's fine. Did you tell your mom you're here? No. Why? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julia. Why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? <laughs> I mean, she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Hmm. Oh, this is the first time I've controlled one of these. A steel mallet. I sure can. <laughs> As in, help us get into the warehouse? Oh yeah, in that case, no. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing, keep looking. Um, we need that hammer on the ground. Come on. Uh, I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? You use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Yep, yep. Wow, it sure is kind of dusty in there. In here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Ugh, you're such a kid. Huh? Andy wants to play too. You do? What? Oh yeah, sure. Let's see? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll be it. I'm going to count to ten. Ten hundred. Count to a hundred at least. Okay, okay. All right, let's find a good box to shove her in. You, you still want to do that? Oh, Jesus. How I need to know how old they are here. I know they're in their t well, one's twenty and one's twenty-two, in like present day. But how old are they here? Circus Allen, hello, first time chatter. What's up? She's out of her mind, for sure. But how old? Like, if they're two years apart, still like. Are we talking middle school? Are we talking high school? Because obviously they're made to look younger, but... Oh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. We don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't. <laughs> Piece of stick or something with the between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have the leverage to... You're going to say teens? I hope. Well, okay. The younger they are, the more forgivable it would be. Ah, 
but she's obsessing over her brother. So, like, the older she is, yeah, I, it, none of it's good. None of it's good. <laughs> True, she said, she called it, she said hussies. <laughs> oh crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. Yonder, your sister, yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Wait, what? Am I looking for a stick or? This container is already full. Oh, I'm trying to hide. I don't know where to hide. I don't even know where I can go. Where do we get a stick anyway? I guess this will do. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? <laughs> no, who do you think, dumbass? Ah, she's fine, I guess. I found you. Both of you. Who hides in the same spots? Idiot. It was my spot first. Then you're it? No way. Andy stole my spot. So he's it. Yeah, I'll go count. <laughs> She's pretty awful. <laughs> High hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, <laughs> see that chest? Hide in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo. Who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred... Oh, shoot. He's coming. Hurry, hurry. Uh, oh, okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. Up. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I got you now. Blink is too weak to throw you off the lid. I don't know. Emma, a four-letter name for a girl. <laughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. I can't breathe. <laughs> Is she all right? Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lily. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. Not true. Not true at all. Hello, Sonoran. How are you doing? Um, people have definitely died from some dust. There's actually uh, a lot of people in, like, California dying from, like, silicone dust because of cutting countertops. Look it up if you want. It's, it's interesting. You're good but hungry. I had a little breakfast before I hopped on this morning. So I'm not hungry. Mm, I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Glad you're doing good. He's telling her to let her out once again. What? You believe her over me? Well, I mean, it's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better too. That everybody does. I already know. Bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. 
You were sick. I'm glad you're doing better. Emotional manipulation. Oh yeah, lots of it. What's this game about? Uh, brother and sister cannibals. Toxic cannibals. Yep. And this was them as kids. Beavis, you got that sub badge. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> She's crying. You only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's, I mean, she did, but it's not fair. Why does everybody like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lily. Oh, God. I don't, I don't know where this is going. Murder, cannibalism, demon cult, and totally normal sibling relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get you some made up one day. I just got mine off Etsy. Actually. Like, made for that. Made for subscriber badges. I paid for them. <laughs> they were just pre-made, though. I thought they were cute enough. I don't know where this is going, though. I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. <laughs> Okay. Did I not just say la 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 talk sure is cheap. God damn it. There. Are you happy now? So mm, shit. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that? You get to stay there until morning. No, please, Ashley. Let me out, please. Mm. Mm. Is she gonna die? Nothing, it's just... God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? She is out of her mind, dude. Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Uh, yes, um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. She she does have a point there, too, though. Just saying. Yeah, I wouldn't have had to admit we were there. We wouldn't have had to admit that we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What with the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the, in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's the bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. Oh, thank you for the follow. See you. F Bing. Welcome, welcome. Whoosh, there goes my magic wand. I've absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Hey, hey. Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months. Then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can play it in, plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Sigh. There, there, there. 
You know, I, I couldn't get its head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper, so I needed to chop it off. His head, bleh, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too. Anyway, I just... <laughs> as long as nobody finds out. Exactly. Nobody's giving them food. The news even says don't worry about it or else they'll kill you. Nobody's allowed in or out of the apartments. They are out of food completely. It's not a crime if nobody knows. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Definitely. <laughs> I kind of just kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some plant. I don't know. Ugh. I keep thinking about it. I can't fucking sleep. Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Hey. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Andrew. Andy. Hey. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wait, wait, mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. Shut your whore mouth. Make me, you little bitch. Forget this. Hmm. Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Laylee's crest for something or another. Remember? Andrew used bite. It's super effective. Yeah. Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will personally. But you can go to therapy. <laughs> like I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They'd throw us in jail right after. I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Uh. So you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of your actions as well? This episode is titled, titled Andy and Laylee and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. Love you, Andy. Shove that. Wait, what? Oh, Andy junk. He doesn't like being called that. My god, I don't love you that much. Fuck. Gross. You make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. I, uh, <sighs> what's that? Aw, I knew he'd come around. Though for a moment there, I seriously thought that was going to be a suicide note. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave. Given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. 
I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of us humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask when to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay. Then what will we bargain with? Don't know. Nice. I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. Business demons. I mean, demons be doing business. It, okay, I saw a post the other day. I think yesterday. It was like, if a circle of ants started chanting your name in the, in the other room, would you go see what they were doing? And if they had a super easy request for you, would you do it? I know I personally would. If they were like, kill this ant. It'd be easy. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. It says here demons prefer human souls, so it's obviously got to be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we share enough already? On second thought, let's not do this. Mm. Let's just set up the ritual for now. What's it need? Replacing the candles. Replacing the candles. So I gotta get the other candles first. Um, that was easy. The brother is kind of whiny. Yeah, but Ashley is also kind of insane, so I don't know. I might, I might be a little touchy if I had to live three months with the, <laughs> with the whiny bitch. <laughs> or either way, they, they both are kind of ass. Kind of makes them cute though, the whining. <laughs> Agree to disagree. Now we... Ah. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Sorry. Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering the weirdo one. I think he croaked. Fine, I'll check it after my round. <laughs> Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for a few days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, no, no. Mm, enough, go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer. Which is where all this blood is pointing at. Why did they, s I didn't even notice that. Why would they store the freezer in that? Or like, what? Why would they store them in that freezer? No, I know they didn't store all of them in that freezer. But I didn't even, I thought maybe they had multiple freezers in their house. You know, they had the, the, the regular one and then the big box freezer. Oh my God. Go before he notices we're not home and keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Oh wait, no, I gotta mop up the blood, but I guess I probably have to go get the mop. So dumb. They did not have any foresight. The 
warden is coming. <sighs> I've only played as the sister so far. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I've okay. I went to go run as soon as as soon as I could. Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You get back, taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Shit. No. That's what I'm trying to do. Hide where? Oh. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I was trying to hide in the bathroom. Like, okay, even if the fucking bathroom smells like poop, I can hide in there. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Oh, great. Another suicide. How did you get in here? Oh. Brother coming in with the cleaver. Sigh. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. <laughs> Come on then, Lily. Let's go play. Okay, none of this is graceful. Ah, oh, Jesus. The warden is very dead. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yup. <laughs> I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, well, see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for this shit right now. Looky here. Ooh, the key. He's still dead. You unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that guy just went out of the window because of your screw up. Congratulations, you killed a man. Uh, I'm sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? What is the point? No matter what happens, be honest, or you won't speak a word of what went down here to anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Look, you might have noticed I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad, but I'm saying that all of this is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. <laughs> Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, exactly. Uh, fine, whatever. <coughs> if you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. Are you threatening me? I am not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to the consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell today. I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's, I'm stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I just need to know you're taking this seriously. 
There's half a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Are you sure, though? Are you sure? Sure you're not going to go bragging? Okay, we can go now. I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to our balcony. Would be quite the beat to throw something so high. And the point is, nobody even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. <laughs> but it's alright, because Andy's here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry, I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Fuck you. <laughs> got key to room 302. They've got a little surveillance camera. No, it looks like it's recording the second floor. Is that a gun holster? Nope, he only had a key to the cultist room in a walkie-talkie. No gun yet. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably walk in, work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else other than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. How are we getting around him? Don't ask me! Ah, there's a key here. Fourth floor key. selling an acquire oh they're selling their organs starved organs can't be that great huh half eaten cup of noodles notice from now on a b types won't be given supplies except if it's someone important and no the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important so stop asking I guess that's that for this room. Two X A, one X B. The hot lady? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what it said. This is all it took to keep us in a wooden board. It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. <laughs> what does this slip of paper say? Wait, what did it say? Fuck. What's this paper say? Two times AB. Oh, so that's why they weren't getting supplies anymore. One times O, but it's crossed over. Oh, that's where it came from. Okay, that's a wall, and that's a wall. We'll go. Oh, well, I can't get in the other place. It's just a wooden board. Whatever. One times A, but it's crossed over. Oh. Is this the hot lady from 302? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here. That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, 
bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley, fuck you. Get out, both of you. The fridge is full of food. God damn. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? Well, I mean, wasn't she? Ooh. It's okay. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not. But you go in there swinging your cleavers, she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm. If we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got us a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. All right. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed. Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw with you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them any wound. So what's needed to finish? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. At least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one, which then indicates time running out for us. Hm. Big deal. At that point, we're screwed anyway. What if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. Though he'll come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Eh, let me think. Hmm. You dip your fingers into the dead warden's wound. Gross. I have an idea. Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. Uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. <laughs> well, Alright then, let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Mm. Weird. I don't know what convincing her entails, but I don't really like it. You two again? Sorry, sorry, there's one last thing we forgot to ask you. <laughs> huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me. What's going to happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please. I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. Hello. Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you uh, care for a quick visit? Quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um, <laughs> nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. All right, good. Let's go. A life. 
lighter. Oh yeah, I do need that. Are you asking my name, human? What do you offer? I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. <laughs> Let's... Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, uh, him. I offer him. What the? Ah! So, uh, well, how was it? Human with tar colored soul, I give you this unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Okay. You're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. I just did whatever I wanted. <laughs> and it definitely just gave me whatever trash was laying around in its demon pockets. <laughs> but no matter, the warden's dead. And if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'll be cool as hell. <laughs> you decide not to linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. At last, time to shoot Andy. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady, though. Got him. <gasps> he killed her. Her corpse already rests on the bed. It sounds like this music is saying fuck. <laughs> it's probably just reversed. Hmm. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? We were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had a McCleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew, sh <laughs> Andrew shoots his load while I get risk getting shot. By the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. <laughs> Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. Even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your... Jesus. Get Dip your dick in some bitch. And the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is cock brain. Now is definitely not the time for this. It's not. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. <laughs> Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I, no, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. 
What? She told you? That little tattletale. You're better off with that loose-lit whores. I like that. <laughs> Loose-lipped whores. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it when I can't as much take a piss without you knowing. Huh. I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I- Fuck. What a prime example of your- You. Just you. What is this conversation? Exactly. Exactly, Cinnamon. <laughs> you are right. Uh, you would. You would. You know it. Or I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can. Just for you. You know, I have just the right thing for that. Back at your beck and call. when, oh, Just like it was way back when. Way back when what? What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you'd have listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? Bro, you've been locked together for three months. You've done nothing but spend time together. This is... <laughs> I guess I kind of called it, huh? <laughs> so then why aren't we friends anymore? Uh, of course we are. Just forget this. Can we just go? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh, no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? don't you chose to lock Emma in that crate where the fucking cunt choked <laughs> cry yourself to sleep for, or to sleep to that Andy my poor Andy so that just came out of your mouth <laughs> what it's true you chose to do it and you chose me You backpedaling fuck of a brother. Oh my god. So abusive. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. <laughs> you won't. You can't because I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. How? 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 You're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Oh my god. God. <sighs> I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you? Can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now. You'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. <laughs> I 
yeah. It is technically horror, right? I'll make such a scene, too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. So, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Cough. I don't give a shit about Blink. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> Who knows with you? Though, I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Or, that's assuming. Meh. Our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. Like, and I hate Lily just... Like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She'd better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. Okay, that's pretty cute. I don't it's all a little it's all a little gross. <laughs> Maybe that's how you divide the people from like only child to uh, with uh, to people with siblings. Like there's a divide here. Um I know Sonoran has a sibling. I definitely have siblings. <laughs> the grossest executor kind of, I guess. Like, listen. The fact that she won't let her brother have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, whatever. Either way, if he was gay, whatever. She won't let him have a significant other. That's just, like, the bottom. Like, that's, like, the very first layer of the fucked upness. And then there's just so much more on top of it. Let's get out of here, Andrew. All right, let's, let's. Should I get some food? Oh, it doesn't let me. The nail gun? I can't take that? <laughs> this whole thing is weirding me out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have an older brother, but I have older sisters, stepsisters, but still, and a younger brother. Hmm. What's that? An open window. Great, jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it. Isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? Hey, thank you, Stone Stream. Appreciate it. Wait, there was something to look at? What if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh, yeah, and then I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. <laughs> Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead? Hell no, it won't. We've got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Let's leave it by the window for now. 
Mm. Yeah, only children. I think I think that's the difference. <laughs> Jealous, possessive, and insane. <laughs> Best traits. Ashley is perfect. <laughs> hmm. No gun would work fine. Although I would have. Yeah, and it's like outlined like that. But you know what? Only children. Go off, man. Must be a nice... I was an only child for, like, the first seven years of my life. It, them, they were some good times. What can I say? The whole sibling vibe is still uncomfy as hell to me. Yeah. It doesn't look safe. There has got to be something else. Mm. Oh, we made it. So what happens now? We'll skip town, then find a buffet, then we'll steal someone's identity or something and to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come into contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. <laughs> first things first, giving town in the buffet. Then let's go to a really touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work there to, to do. Even then, I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. It'll all work out. Lest we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't pay the troll to cross. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. So they've only cannibalized once. I think there's that's worth pointing out. Like... Going into this game, I thought there was going to be a lot more eating of people. I thought it was going to go on for longer. But they've only eaten one person. And only, what was it, his left arm? And probably not even the whole thing. I'd hardly call them cannibals. I mean, it's not a habit. I'm happy to be out of there. And otherwise... My hair, I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Mm. Supposedly I should be seeing visions in, of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. Hee <laughs> hee. I get on a bus. End of episode one.